Marguerite Miller here. Today I am working on some postcard art of Easter and spring themes. So I have these beautiful stickers. Uh, they are produced by Violet Stickers and I want to use them in some postcard art. So what, I'm, what I did was I started to gather some materials I cut down four by six um, cards that I want to use as my postcards. These came from file folders, so they have a nice thickness to them. You can also use boxes from cereal boxes or other food uh, products. And I um, gathered some materials that I might use on in addition to these stickers. I gathered some stamps. I have some really pretty stamps. For example, this this butterfly stamp goes really nicely with this one. And also this one is really beautiful. And it goes very nicely with this pink one. So somehow, some way, I want to use a combination of those. I also have some birds um, and I have a whole sheet of these rabbits. These are real postage stamps um, from the United States Post Office. These are additional ounce stamps, so they're worth, their value is 20 cents each. I paid $4 for this little sheet, and I'm going to use some of them in a collage. And I've got my washi tape. I have uh, just a bunch of random scraps that I want to use. I also have some pieces of old wallpaper that I can try and use. So I just, just gathered a bunch of things. So with my postcards, I began putting some neutral backgrounds on the back of my first postcard because I wanted to kind of show you how I that I do this in layers. Um, I was looking for just a very a very plain background, but I wanted I wanted three papers, um, slightly different shades of the of similar colors, um, for for my background. So that's that's what I have done here. So this is the first layer. Now I'm going to add more. I'm going to add more things onto it. So obviously I'm going to put one of my eggs, but now I need to play around and see what else I want to add in addition to the egg. Okay, I've got I've got a bird. I can I could do a bird. I've got some of something floral like this with my egg. I, I really like this one. Um, I can take additional scraps. I might put a piece of washi tape also, somehow incorporate more color than, than just this. So let me see. Let's just play around and see what we come up, come up with. These birds and these, these floral pieces, they all came from the same place, which was some kind of wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper. Um, I cut out all the poinsettias and, well, there's still a little bit here, um, holly branches um, to get rid of the winter stuff, but I, I wanted to see what I could use uh, in. It seems to me, because this is in, a, in, in the way that these quadrants are, that the egg should go somewhere over here rather than straddle these two sides. So if I use a bird, then the bird needs to be pointing in the direction of the egg. So I, that, that one is out, I believe. This would work better. Something like that. There's also this red bird, which really seems to work much better because it's a red egg. I could also maybe use this egg. This one's got a little bit more pink and red. It doesn't matter. It's, it's very, they're both very similar. Okay. Um, so if I do a bird, 
I'm not going to do rabbits because that's already enough. If I was going to do rabbits, I would do probably two or three rabbits in addition to an egg. And again, these rabbits are pointing this way. So I think I want to stick with this bird. Now, the bird is kind of, I, to me, it, see, it feels like it's kind of just floating. So I need, I need something right down here. So I could put washi tape across the whole thing. Um, I also could add a little bit more greenery. gonna cut out just I'm not gonna glue or stick stick the egg down yet but I'm gonna cut it just so that I can play with the placement so I'm just gonna put that there for now so I can do something like that um, I could use this. I want the bird to sit on something. So how does that look? Um, this this is kind of covered up a lot. What if I switch the order here? Go like this. This will be cut off down here. Like that. something like that and then now I'm left with some space that I would like to do something with over here and maybe something behind the egg so the egg is not just floating on this um, dictionary page so I can choose to add another kind of paper underneath or I can do something like um, a postage stamp. I don't think, I don't have one that matches this, this one. I'm not gonna use this one, but I'm, if I use it as an example, could I do something like this? Yes, I could, absolutely. What else I could do? I can I can just do rubber stamping instead of another stamp like that. And my other options, I have something like this or this or my favorite stamp, this one. I kind of like this though. If I did this in like a green, just a little, these little swirls right here at the edge, I think that might be good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna glue all these pieces down. This egg, um, it's, it needs to be anchored with something. Um, I think I might do something like this where I stamp on there and then this will go on top. I don't know what color to use though. I can use blue since there's blue on the egg. 
Um, yeah, I think I will. Blue for this, and then I'm going to use green for here. And there's also a little green on the, the wings of the bird. Okay, let me glue all this down, and I will show you what it looks like. So here's what happened. I thought I pressed record, but I didn't. So everything in the last 40 minutes was not recorded. So I finished this postcard, um, and I had shown you the last things that I did. I added over here this rubber stamp, or this um, postage stamp and this little piece here, but um, none of it was recorded. So anyway, this is how it turned out. This is the, the final piece. I also made a second postcard. I used the rabbits and the purple egg. I used the butterfly instead of the other butterfly stamp. And I added this little pink piece on here. But I still want to make one more postcard. So let's do that. I have one more blank card. This time I want to use this, it's, it's wallpaper basically, old wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. So I want to use some of this, kind of like a strip on the side, and then I will add some, I don't know, I'll have to see what fits, some pieces. Let's see. I can do numbers again. This time I want to do this egg. It's so, so pretty. This one. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna cut down my pieces and do the background. Let me glue those on. Okay, here is my background. I'm gonna cut out this egg so that I can play with the placement. Wouldn't it be funny if I put it right there? Now I have that stamp, the one that I told you about, this one. But these are so, so similar in color. So somewhere I want to put this. I'm not sure if it's, where is it going to go? Over here maybe, something like that. I'm not, I don't know. Um... Do I want more rabbits? I possibly do. I can do some more rabbits. Maybe three. One, two, three. But besides that, I have to figure out what else needs to go. What about these? That looks nice. Let me try this. Or actually, I want to, this, this line is very stark between these two papers and I want to soften it somehow. So my choices are to add a piece of washi tape or use this again with the color green, since I've got green here and green on the egg, and then put this over that. I think we should do the green.
Okay. So the green didn't do very much, but oh, that's okay. That's all right. I kind of like this postage stamp behind this, but I still want to add a rabbit or two. So now maybe I'm thinking down this way, one, two, or maybe just one over here or two here. I'm not sure. Well, first things first, let me glue these flowers down. I wish they had a little bit of color to them. I'm, I'm tempted to take a colored pencil and, and just um, color these. I don't know, I might. <laughs> Depends how much free time I have. Okay, this is going to go in the corner and this egg is going to go on top of it. Just like that. So I'm going to put the egg down first, but I'm not going to press it all the way down so that I can add this stamp in the corner. Put that there temporarily just in case now what Rabbits, two rabbits, one rabbit. Oi, oi. Decisions, decisions. I can peel that off later. The good thing is, is I can play with this. What do you think? What looks good? No. No, that, that doesn't work. I think this sort of works. I was kind of thinking that I should put the rabbit behind the flowers, but then it's, mm, nah. I mean, I still could, but no, nah, it, I, I want the stamp you know, the square to show. Well, I think my best bet is down here. I think right here is the best spot. But what else? What else can I add to this? What else can I put? Let me see if I have anything else in my scrap box. How about that? I kind of like that. Okay, what do you think? Thinking that there is a little bit of something that I could put up here, but I'm not sure what it could be. Something right up there. But for now, I will keep it as is and then decide later if I want to add something. So here are my three pictures. One, two, and three. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think in the comments.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.